What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to crimp the terminals onto some wires for the Sumitomo HM sealed series connectors. Uh, these are found on a lot of OEM bikes. Uh, this one is for a data cable that I'm making for a Honda and um, it's got four terminals. Got four openings on the back side of this one. This one's going to use the female uh, terminals and then they also use a seal that you crimp on when you go to do your terminal. You're going to crimp the wire into this uh, front slot and then the seal goes back there and it prevents uh, water, dirt, debris from getting inside the plug from the back side. And then uh, when these two go together on the male side there's a seal um, if you look inside, this is a two pin connector, but there's a seal inside. So when they connect, it's fully sealed from the back and at the connector. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So here's the terminal. These ones are for 22 to 16 gauge. So you have a good range of wire. Uh, today I'm using 20 gauge wire, so it'll work no problem. These are the crimpers I use. They have uh, three sizes of dies for the terminals and then they have a, a, a bigger and a smaller sometimes to do the, on the different seals. Um, I'll show you how I do this. There's a lot of ways you can do this. This is how I do it. Here's some wire strippers. These ones are the Stripmaster um, Ideal, made by Ideal Stripmaster series. These ones are super nice. They're kind of all uh, automatic so you just put the wire in, pull down and pull. Uh, these are some that I've been using for a long time. I really like these as well, just the, the feel in your hand and how they how they work. Uh, these sometimes you can get the, the strip wire to kind of fall down and get stuck. And you got to kind of do it a couple times, release it. These ones, it's pretty much you strip and go. So this is kind of like my go-to set. Um, so I'm going to go here and just pull a little bit off. I don't know, it's about a quarter inch. You don't have to get super technical with these. It's not a not a reason that you need to measure it out or anything. But I just do that. Strip all all three of them, and then what you want to do is slide the seal onto the wire. And they make these seals in two different sizes for the Sumitomo. So they make a green color, which is this, and uh, these are for. They call it out in, uh, in millimeters for the wire size, but these would be for like the 22 to 16, and they make a larger, uh, so it's a black seal that'll fit, you know, 18 to 14 or something like that. So here we go. Here's our seal. There's our wire sticking out. We're going to run the seal all the way to the end of the insulation, and then we drop our wire into the terminal. We have a little bit of stick out, which is fine on that part where we're gonna crimp. I just hold it with my finger like that and slide our connector up underneath and grab onto it. Now we have it and squeeze down. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna wrap around each of those little wings of the terminal. I'm gonna crimp down on the wire. And now we have our seal part. So I'll usually come in with the end of the tool and squish them together just a little bit. Make sure everything's nice and seated. And then I use this bigger uh, number four to go ahead and crimp because I want to go ahead and crimp these things down tight. And what that does is it again, it, it crimps it over and pulls it down into the seal. Everything stays nice and straight. And we can go ahead and do that on the other two. And there we go, we have our wires crimped. Um, this is, like I said, a four pin connector. We're only using three, um, so they also make these plugs that you can put in to the back side um, so that nothing gets in to the connector. So go ahead and all you do is push it in like that. For the terminals, super easy. Um, if you look at the different sides, this has a little cutout and there's a 
little tab inside the connector that's actually going to lock into that. So when we go ahead and push these in, we're going to do them um, with the, I guess, with the crimped part facing down if that tabs up and push them in, they click. So that's uh, about as difficult as it gets. Push that one in. Now, if you're, if you're doing something where the connectors have to go into a certain orientation or there's um, different colors, make sure you follow that and just pin it out correctly. But that's all everything seated and in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our heat shrink on, seal it up. But that's a Sumitomo HM series, uh, sealed series connector. Thank you.